Hello friends, I haven't made a video in a while and I haven't because I put together a new sound system and some video equipment and changed it up a little bit so I, I can maybe sound clearer and look a little clearer and I don't know if that's a good thing. But I want to start off uh, my talk today with this question. Dungeons and Dragons as a spectator sport, what do you think? I find it really interesting what's happened with D&D of late, where people record their games, put it online, and they put on this audio for three to four hours of a game session and then want people to come in and listen to it or see it. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. I'm going to tell you why. I usually play with a group. I have my stuff prepared. They come over, you know, I DM, and, and we play. And so what I did was I said, let me record the audio for the game. So I decided to set up a, an audio setup, and I recorded the audio. And I didn't do any video or anything. So once the, the session went on, um... I, I noticed something uh, very interesting, and it, it was funny, because I noticed, and, and this was even after listening to the recording, that it was a very organic game, meaning an organic session, because I say that because it wasn't only game stuff. We talked about everything. We talked about what was going on in, in, the, in the old neighborhood, what's going on in politics, what's going on with what's new with some people. You know, certain things came up here and there in the game, which I thought was cool. Um, and also, I mean, I'm guessing this is the type of thing that happens when you have um, a group that you play with for 30 plus years. So, I mean, I guess that's normal. But, you know, I, I just find it weird that when I... When I uh, you know, when I finished the, the whole thing, I just don't know if anybody would be interested in listening to it, listening to the game. I mean, I, there was some funny moments. We were laughing. You know, I could, I really noticed how I, I have to um, even uh, describe things for a audio recording because um, I was saying stuff like, oh, yeah, and you see this. And I'm really pointing to a map and stuff. Now, you guys can't see that if it's only audio. So, you know, things like that I want to change. And I and I didn't use a lot of description stuff. Uh, maybe I should. Like, I should, you know, use the, the, the text I set up for a description in a room, for example. But I, I just don't know if this is something that, that people would like that um, people would want to uh, uh, sit down for, I, I guess, 45 minutes at a, at a pop and, and listen to the game. Um, I sure want to I wanna, uh, share my games with, uh, with I guess, YouTube and, and anyone that wants to listen. And, and, I'm, and maybe some people will learn um, stuff from me and I can learn from them. You know, I could get some critique and stuff. Uh, I like that. But I'm I'm just wondering if this is something that people really like to do or and do it. I mean, uh, you know, you got these big groups online, these very big channels that get these celebrities that come to play. And, um, you know, they... They come and they play the game. They play card games. They play D and D, and it's 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 not too many, not too much D and D. I guess their schedules are very busy. They're celebrities, but they do come and play, and people want to see them play. And I guess you know, I guess it's fun to see your favorite celebrity play D and D like you play. But I mean, I like taking it back to the old school where. We're not um, spectating, you know, th there was no such thing as uh, game spectators. If you wanted to see a game, 
you had to go to a convention. You sat and you 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 you, you stand around the the table where people are playing, and you listen to them play live. And and that it's a different experience. Now everything tends to be very, um, you know, since so many people are playing, I guess, and people want to play, a lot of the groups are very regimental and set up uh, in a very uh, 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 rigid way, I think. And I I I I tend to think that the the uh, a better setup is that if the game is a little bit more organic, a little bit more. Um, you know, ad hoc, where it's, you know, you don't know what's going to be talked about at some point. Maybe I do need to be a little bit more um, uh, centered in the game. And I guess that's one of the good things about listening to your own game from recording, is that you could see your mistakes and your shortcomings, and you could see where you could, uh, you know, add some polish. Um, and I think that's cool. So, what do you guys think? I don't want to, you know, keep blabbing. It's it's just a question. What do you think is a good? What is something that people want to see in, in you know pertaining to Dungeons and Dragons? Do you want to see live game sessions? Do you want to see a mock game session to show you how to play? Do you want to hear the monster of the week? Do you want to Talk about, you know, ask questions, ask the DM, and, you know, I bring you a question up and we talk one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, what, 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 would it, what would be something that you would like to, 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 to see on, um, from a spectator, from, even from a spectator's point of view? What do you find that it's maximizing your time? Because uh, I know there's a lot of other things you want to see and do. And, you know, you want to see your channel, your D&D channel. When you want to see new products that are coming, um, you know, oh, look at this cool thing I saw. What, what would you like to see? And that's, um, that's my question. So I, I want you guys to... Um, oh, and another thing I wanted to uh, talk about was um, I have a little bit of footage of an interview I did with a friend of mine who plays uh, Dungeons and Dragons as well. He's played for a very long time. And he's uh, 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 quite the dungeon master. And I got a chance to talk to him a little bit. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. Hey, Papa Jewel DM. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience in uh, role-playing games. <laughs> no, no, I've been role playing for years, yeah, um, for years and years and years, um, since I was like 15 years old, and now I'm 45. Oh. And, um, that's a lot of years of of, of learning and playing crazy, oh. Oh, yeah, no, and I think all those yeah, years of playing right. different like people games, games, I like to um, claim myself yeah, to be yeah. one of the best DMs ever. That's what I heard. You know, yeah, some of the poppy to the tea. I mean, people might hate me by saying that, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, I see some of your guys' games online. I can't make a comment because I might get kicked out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but you guys, I... <laughs> today you watch a game, what's going on today, you learn something. All you right, know, hold on. A... Hold on, let's, let's look at what your books... Oh, no, no, no. no. What? Oh, the hold books? on, let's see what we got here. Wow. Yeah. You got a lot of books here. Yeah. Look at that. Me too. That's quite a collection. I, I've been connecting them for years. And then I had some <laughs> friends that donated some books. I have friends that moved away and stuff like that. Things have happened. So they gave me their books. I have a, a lot of doubles and triples here. Wow. You know. So, but it comes useful when you have no, multiple people coming and everybody need a particular book. I know you guys don't understand this because and I... We're going to be playing riffs today, right? No, but if you want to see the riff For book, example. No, no, that's just a world book. This is riffs. Da, 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 da. Wow, so that's that how, is awesome. That, that's the world of riffs. Riffs, the ultimate edition. Yeah. Wow, that's and, pretty cool. And guys, riffs right. is an awesome game. Right. Um, right. The only town... Bad reputation of it. It's bad TM. 
That's as simple as that. Because refs have no game balance. So when you have, when you run a game with no game balance, it's real easy for you to die and stuff like that. So that's why the game has a bad reputation. But if you read, yes, if you read everything about it, there's a lot more than that. So it's an awesome game. That's why I say it's like He-Man and G.I. Joe and a little bit of Dungeons and Dragons and some Harry Potter. And that is Riffs. That is Riffs, guys. And might even add a couple of superpowers in there. So, and then it's not as chaos as it seems because every book has stories. And it has um, adventures and cities and people in power and what's going on. And you use those stories because riffs do not make modules. They just give you examples to use. And then you grab it and you run with it. Oh, okay. You know yeah, and, and it gives you rhythms and stuff like that, what can happen. But it's not like a D&D module. That, you know, I haven't seen that yet in riffs. I okay. guess because Rich is so chaotic, because remember, it has no game balance. That's the beauty of it as well. That you, one person can make a doctor, and one person can make a superpower person. One person can make a Batman, and one person can make a, a karate guy. And then you make a game. Hmm. That's great. You know what I'm saying? It is challenging. It is challenging. And today we playing that today. And um, this is my friend website. Whatever. What is it? Great big sword. It's great big sword. Mm-hmm. Oh, and um, <laughs> you see, you see the you see the kind of guest I get on my but, show. <laughs> but, but but you know we're representing now, and he needs to learn how to be a DM. So he's gonna learn something today. He's playing my game. Oh boy, you gotta learn something. This is awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Papi Chulo DM, and that's that's a wrap. He is a great guy. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, answer in the comments below. Just leave me a little comment. Uh, you're, you know, you're either full of beep or you're, uh, you got a point there. Uh, you know, uh, great big sword. You got a point. You know, let's 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 talk about this and uh, uh, let me know what you, you guys think. So. I hope to uh, see you again soon, or talk to you soon, and this is uh, Great Big Sword, good night friends.